Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One and my old barn door. And I am here with a little bit of a shop share. So right before I moved, I went on Etsy and went to my sweet friend, Laura. Um, she is Laughing Dogs Book Nook on Etsy and YouTube. And I went shopping in her shop because she had, we had talked on the phone and she told me some things that she was making and I was excited about them. So I wanted to share with y'all um, some things that she has in her shop because they're so stinking cute. So um, I got the package as we were moving. And so <laughs> I've had it, you know, of course I had to pack it up. And so I just have found it. <laughs> so I've gone to her shop this morning and checked out all of her goodies. Oh my gosh, y'all. She has so much yummy stuff in her shop. You have to go check her out. And go check out her YouTube channel. She's been trying for the longest time to get to a thousand subscribers. And so if we could all go over there and subscribe to her and help her get there so that she can do her lives through YouTube instead of through another program, it just makes it a little easier. So if y'all would run over there and subscribe to her, that would be awesome. Okay, so I will put her links um, in the description box below. So it'll make it easy for you to just go click on that. Go subscribe to her. Show her some love. Um, tell her I sent you. All right, so let's check out what we got. I'm so excited about this. Okay, and she always packages her stuff so pretty. So when you get your stuff from her, it's kind of like getting a little gift. Okay, so I'm going to wait on these because I know what these are and y'all are going to love these. These are what caused me to go over there. <laughs> so, because uh, these are what she told me she was making. So, um, okay, let's see. That's my receipt. And she always has such pretty stuff in her shop. And Laura, you must tell me where you got these little sacks. To, they are to die for. Look at how cute they are. Oh my goodness, are those not adorable? Oh, yes, here is all of her information. You can screenshot it or you can click the links below. So I'll have all that information in the description box below. So the first thing I got was this little um, wooden spool with vintage lace on it. How cute is that? And she's put this little clear um, band on there. But I love the spool. I'm obsessed with these little wooden spools. So stinking cute. And look at the lace. Isn't that pretty? I'm not going to pull it all the way out because I'll mess it up. But I will be using that in um, some projects coming up because um, I want to do some craft with me. So I'm going to be using this. I'm just going to sit it on my desk because I love it. Okay, so let's see what's in our little bag here. I think... Oh, yes. Number one, I love the bag. Okay. And then look at these. These are so pretty. They're avocado dyed. She does the prettiest avo avocado dyeing stuff. How gorgeous are these? These are vintage doilies. And she's dyed them. And I love how she's tied them up with the little bulb pen. And then I got some alterations tags and some... You know different kinds of little tags which i'm super excited to play with so we'll be playing with some of these in some upcoming craft with me videos but again she just makes the sweetest little packages when she sends you stuff um and you feel like you know you're getting to open a present <laughs> all right so i'm put that there and then these were, I think these were her fabric packs. I'm going to scoot this over so we have a little room. Um, but she has some of the sweetest little fabric packs in there. And you can choose which one you want. Sorry for the crinkle. Let's see if I can get it open. So in the little fabric packs, I mean, look how she packages them up. They are so stinking cute, just the way she presents them. Okay, and so then you have this. I love this. This is awesome. Um, 
I love how she did this and it's stitched. Let me see if I can take it off of here so I can hold it up a little close to you. Can you see that? She's stitched this little flower. How adorable is that? And it's good and flat so it'll be easy to use um, in a journal. So, door adorable. And then she's got it tied with this sweet little ribbon. And then you get a couple of things of um, embroidery floss that matches your fabric pack. I mean, how cool is that? And then she has this little card with different color ribbons and trims and even fabric ribbons. Look at that. How stinking cute. She's even put a doily on there to hold everything in place. Um, but all of this matches your fabric pack. Oh, pretty. Look at how pretty that doily is. I've never seen one like that. Laura, this is gorgeous. I'm excited about this. Y'all, I've had this package for a few weeks and I've waited to open it so I could show it to y'all. So I've been excited. I mean, I opened it and peeked in, but I didn't, you know, really get into it. So I'm super excited. And then you have some trims in this pack. Some oh, look at those. Those are so pretty. I'm excited to use these. And then you have some pretty lace. This is like a peachy pink colored lace. This is the pink pack I think I got. And then I have some, um, I think this is called Seersucker. I'm not sure. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's called Seersucker. Look at this with the pretty flowers. Ooh. Ooh, 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 this is going to be in my boho journal. Not boho. Not boho. <laughs> my billowing journal, because I'm doing botanicals in it. And we are going to get back to that soon. Look how pretty that fabric is. I love it. Oh, my goodness. This might be my favorite. I'm absolutely in love with these small print, small floral prints. How gorgeous is that? Very pretty. And then check this out. These are really cool. They're big size like little rosettes. So you can cut them out or you can use them just like this. How pretty is that? Love that. Oh, oh I think this is feed sack fabric. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm in love with this. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love this so much. Yum. So, and then you get a quilted piece. Look how pretty that is. And y'all know me and my love for quilts. So this will definitely be going into a journal. And then she's just backed it with this. Um, this is actually, it feels like it's flocked. The, um, the stripes do. So that is the little fabric pack. Absolutely love it. I'm super excited to get to play with it. And then I bought one of her paper packs. She has these wonderful paper packs in her shop. And um, I got one once before. And I was so excited to see that she still had some. Sorry for the crinkle. So let's go through this real quick. So in the paper pack, you get some little goodies on the top of the pack. So you've got some vintage um, recipe cards and plant cards. Um, I love the coffee dyed index card. And then you have some old vintage book pages. I think there's a couple of those. And check out this shorthand page, which I'm in love with. I know exactly where I'm using most of this stuff. And then inside here, you have the little brown sack. And then inside the sack, you have some floral cutouts, which these are going in my billowing journal because I already know where I'm going to use them. So you have a few of those. And then you have the wood grain sack. And she puts something in off her sacks. I mean, how sweet is that? Oh, you have some beautiful, um, oh, oh yes, definitely using those in my folio journals they're kind of florally well they are florally 
botanical, whatever you want to call them. Love this vintage sack. I have some of these that I've been hoarding and I need to use them. <laughs> okay, so in this one, I missed something. We have some beautiful floral cutouts. How pretty are these? Very, very pretty. And then a little, um, little tag. So she's put something in all of the sacks. Okay. I'm just going to get these put back in order here. And sit those there. And then you get to the paper part. Um, and you have a sheet of the braille paper. Hopefully y'all can see that. I don't know about the lighting. Um, and then you have some vintage book pages. I think there's two or three of the vintage book pages, which are perfect for collage, or you can make these a page in a journal. You have a nice size large map page, and it's a double page, so you can just put this right into a journal. This is a beautiful dyed green um, paper and I love the markings on it. It's just very subtle but it's very pretty. Hopefully y'all can see that okay. And then you have a couple of these. Um, they are, it's kind of like um, resume paper or something like that. It's got a texture so it almost feels like um, it almost feels like it's got fabric in it but it doesn't but very very nice um, and these are cream colored. And then you get a lined sheet. Actually, I think there's, I think this is a double lined sheet. And then you get some, some of these, um, like the ring bound book pages that are um, from a vintage, I guess like a fashion magazine. And let's see, there's the copyright date. I don't know my, um, oh, what do you call them? Y'all know what I'm, I can't think of the word. <laughs> <laughs> and look at how pretty this is. I fell in love with this in my last package. Aren't these gorgeous how she's dyed these um, dictionary pages? Beautiful, beautiful shades of purple and lavender. And then you get some vintage dictionary paper. And I'm excited about this one too because I have been wanting some typewriter books for forever and have not yet found one. So you get a couple of those. Then you get a ledger paper. I mean, y'all, this pack is just packed with all kinds of goodness. This is like a very thin, um, it almost feels a little bit like rice paper, but it's not rice paper. And then you have a good, thick, um, textured cardstock piece, and that's like a cream color. And then look at these gorgeous botanical pages you get. I'm super excited about these too because these are going in my billowing journal. <laughs> and you get some more vintage floral book pages. Let's see. Okay, that's one page. Oh, it's good and thick. It felt like two pages. It's a really good thick book page. You get an Edith Holden double spread book page. And you get this beautiful piece. I love the way the edge is done. And it's textured. And this is more like um, a taupe color. And I love this one. I can't wait to use this one in a journal. I'm just going to fold it like that. You get one of these little children's dictionary pages. And this is a good matte um, page. Feels so good. And, of course, she sent me one with the rooster because she knows I love my farm stuff. And then you get a grid a grid sheet and then some, um, some ledger, a couple of the ledger ones. I've bent the pages. And then I love this large size ledger that comes out of the, um, the ring bound one. And then you get a different color. One, like a darker green. I love that green. And I'm in love with this. Um, Laura, I don't know how you colored this, um, but this is the perfect color for my billowing journal. I need to know how you did this. So do a video on this, Laura. <laughs> 
And I love these. These are the children's writing pages, but I've never seen them like this. I love these. Okay. So then you get a grid sheet that's got the lines on the back. So you have the grids on one side and the lines on the back side or the front side, whichever way you want to use it. And then these are beautiful, beautiful book pages. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but these are textured book pages. They're good, thick, matte, um, textured book pages. Get some lovely, lovely music pages. I mean, how vintage are those? I Hopefully, y'all can tell um, in this lighting, but I'm in love with those. How pretty is this? Um, a little hymn page. And then look at this children's book page. Look how colorful that is. I love that so much. Then you get some of these. These are um, uh, the rotary cards or the um, Rolodex cards. And they're all in one sheet. And she's dyed them. And then you just tear them out. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can show you. And then you have the little pop-outs. How cool is that? I love this. Love, love, love this so much. Thank you, Laura. And then look at this book page you get. I love the different scenes. And this is a good, thick, um, very thick uh, matte paper. Look at this very vintage book page. I'm in love with this. And y'all, this is so thick, it feels like it's two, two pages, but it's just one page. And oh my goodness, you can feel where they did the top setting. You can literally feel the letters. So cool, very vintage. Then you get um, a coloring book page. I love the coloring book page. And then you get um, like an animal um, field guide couldn't think of the word kind of like a field guide page beautiful coffee dyed pieces look how gorgeous that coffee dyeing is I mean yum yum and then here's one of her avocado dyed papers how delicious is that look at that look at the markings Can y'all? hopefully y'all can see the markings on that beautiful then you get a gorgeous floral page. I think this is from, um, I think her name is either Janet Nash or Janet Marsh. Beautiful. Get a Henry Terry book page, which is one of my favorites. He and the Edith Holden ones are very similar, but his are a little um, brighter colors than the Edith Holden ones. Then you get this gorgeous green lined long um, sheet, and I think there's two of these, oh, it's kind of like, it's from like one of those old ledger books, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a watermark on it, which is really cool, so you have watermarks on all the sheets, and I love the green lined paper, and it almost has a green tint to it, and then you get a, a large map page, how cool is that? And then this is just the sheet she had backing the pack. So all of that in this little paper pack, and it's very in inexpensive. Her prices are wonderful. So y'all run over there and grab you some. And then we have, let me scoot this over. And we have this little pack of goodies. Look at her, how cute are her little, um, uh, what do you call them? Labels, very cute. open it. I don't want to tear her label. <laughs> oh, I tore the bag instead. Darn it all. That's okay. Because you know that can still be reused and it can be fixed. <laughs> Let's see. How about it? Oh, here we go. Okay, well, we're going to have to tear it a little. It'll be all right. There. 
Look at this fabric washi. Oh my goodness. How cool is this for collage? You can use it for collage or just about anything. But it's double sided. You can cut it and use as much or as little as you want to. So there's that one. I love this one with the labels on it. Um, I think this is called the Tim Holtz Fabric Washi. Look how yummy. Love it. There's that one. Am I holding it too close? <laughs> I love that with the, the postage stamps on it. And then you have kind of like a wood grain. Yummy. Wood grain one. I love the ones with the botanicals and the bees. And then you have the one with like the dictionary. Very cool. I'm excited to use these. Alright, so that is the... One of the fabric washi packs. She has several in her shop. And then, yes, I went a little crazy in her shop, but that's okay because it's worth every penny of, of it. And she, like I said, she has great prices. So these, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I about bought the store out with these because I love them so much. So um, she has these little hearts that she's cut out of quilts and quilted around them and then decorated them. And oh my goodness, how wonderful are these? Yum, yum, yum. I love these. So there's that one. And she's constantly putting new stuff in her shop. So she works her little heart out. Trying to give everybody some good, some really good goodies. Okay, and then there's this one. Oh, see, both of these two are going in my billowing journal. Love, love, love these. And then there's this one. And all these little bags you can reuse. You can decorate them up, put them in a journal. Look how pretty that is. This one's going in the billowing journal too. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, my billowing journal is going to be yummy. I am putting all my heart and soul into it. Okay, and this one. I love this one so much. It is Chanel. Love me some Chanel. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. And I love how she's put the little seam binding in there. And then she's put some trim in there. So pretty. And then there's this one. Yum. Yum, yum. I love this. Just gorgeous. You did such a good job on these, Laura. I am... Super excited about these, and I wish I could cut hearts that well, but I can't, so I'll just get them from Laura. Because <laughs> y'all know me, I'm scissor handicapped. I <laughs> can't cut straight for nothing. <laughs> Look how gorgeous that is. Yummy. Billing journal. <laughs> And the last one, how gorgeous is that? Oh, I love that. That flower is so pretty. Hopefully y'all can see these okay. But I'm so excited to get to play with the, all of these goodies that I got from her shop. So yummy. So y'all go over and check out her shop. Tell her I sent you. Um, go to her YouTube channel and subscribe and show her some love in both places. And let's help support our sweet friends. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Um, I'll leave all the links for her, for Laura's shop, in the description box below. And um, I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.